Breaking news, OneGuard giant investment fund with $7.7 .7 trillion under management makes a shocking move. The new CEO Salim Ramji previously led BlackRock's global ETF activities and oversaw the filing of BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF. Speculation runs wild as rumors suggest OneGuard might soon allow its clients to invest in Bitcoin. Stay tuned for updates on this game-changing development. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and let's start. So here we are starting off with Justin, one guard named Salim Ramji as a new CEO who oversaw the filing for BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF. This happened after former one guard CEO refused to offer Bitcoin to its clients. New ARK Bitcoin ETF recorded at $133 million in inflows, the highest ever since March. We are completely back. New U.S. Congressman Patrick McHenry also gives speech supporting overturning SEC rules uh, that prevents regulated financial firms from custodian Bitcoin and crypto. He argues that banks should also be custodian uh, spot Bitcoin ETF funds. Next we go for pullbacks are part of the bull run and the bull market game. Do not get shaken out as here we are looking into the 2016-2017 bull market average pullback 32%, 2020-2021 bull market average pullback 24% and now we are entering the 2023-2024 bull market uh, which is average pullback a 22% just it. We grew up from 40s and 30s percent uh, uh, up to 24% on average and now to 22% on average pullback as the growth continues. Breaking news, investment company uh, uh, Susquehanna International Group holds over $1 billion in grayscale uh, spot Bitcoin ETF GBTC. Bitcoin went from 0 to 69,000 without ETFs, BlackRock, Fidelity, GP Morgan, Institutional Adoption, and more and more. And you think 74,000 was the cycle top now that institutions are buying up Bitcoin like crazy. Former SEC Chair Jay Clayton thinks it should be illegal that uh, the Roaring Kitties posting memes online and GME is pumping. They're having a fucking meltdown. Where was the concern when Jamie Dimon called Bitcoin a scam but was a scalping trading fees? Also, I accumulated around the low, sat on my hands for 9 months and sold my first coins around the peak, still holding on to the majority of my exposure waiting for the next rally, as the plan remains the same, scale out slowly when Bitcoin enters price discovery. Uh, the Bitcoin is pumping and funding rates are looking like this, we are headed so much higher. The halving event signals the start of a new bull cycle, but it generally takes a while to play out. On average, it takes plus minus 160 days of chop, while we've seen plus minus 65 so far this cycle. This could take a while, but be patient, the rewards are worth it. Bitcoin has finally happened. Weekly stock RSI uh, for Bitcoin has just crossed bullish. Bitcoin is also doing what it has done in previous cycles. If you don't have patience here, I can't help you. Biggest move ahead, good night bears. The giant bond guard fund is hiring a pro Bitcoin CEO. Plot twist, the new CEO of a giant investment fund, OneGuard is a prop Bitcoin. The revenge of Bitcoin, OneGuard made a waves in January when it refused to allow its clients to invest in Bitcoin ETFs launched by BlackRock, Fidelity and others. The fund stated at a time that Bitcoin did not fit the investment philosophy. And it's ironic knowing that its clients could previously invest in GBTC Bitcoin Trust, now transformed into an ETF. Even more troubling, OneGuard subsequently blocked investments in the GBTC, offering only the possibility to sell. This suspicious decision greatly contributed to the massive exits from the GBTC ETF which spoiled the launch of the 11 ETFs in January. A month later, OneGuard thanked its anti-Bitcoin CEO Tim Buckley, it seems it doesn't bode well to oppose Bitcoin. His replacement will be Salim Ramji, this is the first time OneGuard has hired an outsider as CEO, Symbolo uh, symbolically he previously led BlackRock's global ETF activities. Mr. Ramji does supervise the filing of BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF and in other words, uh, OneGuard clients will likely soon be able to invest in Bitcoin. 
knowing that one world manages seven trillion dollars the only fund in the world with more assets under management is blackrock and we should therefore expect several billions of dollars to very soon participate in a bull run here is an interview with the ceo of one world about bitcoin conducted before the launch of the bitcoin etfs Global head of iShares and index investment at BlackRock Salim Rumji breaks down why the firm filed a fresh set of applications for a spot Bitcoin ETF to add new details after the SEC indicated that the initial filings were insufficient. It's probably only a matter of time before all investment funds add a pinch of Bitcoin or more to their portfolios. Pension funds are going orange. So pension funds are investment funds specific to retirement through the capitalization uh, they are tools for retirement savings. And good news actually uh, is the ninth largest pension fund in the United States uh, has just taken the plunge as the state Wisconsin investment board has just revealed it invested nearly $100 million in Bitcoin via BlackRock's iBeat ETF. The SWIB is thus the first public institution to take shares in Bitcoin ETF, as this is an important step in the integration of Bitcoin into traditional investment portfolios. Pension funds are probably the hardest investors to convince, said Eric Bochuna, senior ETF analyst at Bloomberg Intelligence. Pension funds are very demanding, they have access to everything and it generally takes some time before they bite the hook and said Mr. Bochunas comparing the arrival of pension funds to catching a sailfish. The fact that they bit the hook so quickly is a good sign and it's due to the fact that the iBeat ETF became very liquid in such a short time. He added, uh, thousands of US pensions funds manage about $27 trillion in assets, they will all need Bitcoin and said Michael Saylor. Adding to all this launch of ETFs in Asia, in Hong Kong as well as in Australia, even the largest European BNB Paribas invests in BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF. Next up, Galaxy Novigrad says that Bitcoin could reach $75,000. Michael Novigrad, the CEO of Galaxy Digital, believes that the cryptocurrency market is in a consolidation phase, which is preventing it from rising higher. And he also made some unfavorable predictions for Solana, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. Novigrad actually stated that during the conference call on May 14th that since the entire cryptocurrency market has been trapped in the consolidation phase, this quarter a bull run for Bitcoin is unlikely to occur anytime soon. Following the New York-based company's Q1 financial results, Novigrad stated that a Bitcoin is unlikely to cross the 75,000 threshold until the current phase is resolved. He added that a market might still be in this phase in quarter 3 2024. As Novigrad said, I think we are, a, 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 we are at a consolidation phase in crypto. As Bitcoin, Ethereum and everything else, Solana will consolidate. So what does this mean? It means probably somewhere between 55 and 75 until the next set of circumstances. Novigrad's comments on the current market state predicting it will persist until the Fed reduces rates due to the slowing economy or until after the November 2024 presidential election. He anticipates that the election will provide clarity on the crypto regulation landscape. As Novigrad offered reassurance to investors stating that there are no imminent concerns that would cause him to panic, suggesting a low likelihood of a flash crash in the market. So that's kind of all the information we got for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one and peace.